Hello everyone. Today I will be discussing about sills and lintels. So before moving on to this topic, I would like to discuss about something more like you must have remembered that while constructing a building, the components of a building are divided into two parts. Number one, substructure. and number 2 superstructure so the components of the building which are below the ground level lies in the substructure and the components of the building which are above the ground level lies in the superstructure So I have prepared a drawing for you. So you can see here the foundation part or the excavation part lies in the substructure and uh, floors, the ground floor, the first floor and the roofs, those lies in the superstructure. So these are the components of a building, uh, general components of a building. So moving on, so let's talk about sills now. So a sill is a horizontal slate. A sill is a horizontal slate which forms the base of a window or a door. So Sill and lintels are both horizontal member. The materials, the materials which, which will be used for, for sills is Ponderosa pine. Ponderosa pine. And we should use woods which are not prone to rot. And also we should use water resistant and more decay resistant woods sorry weather resistant and more decay resistant woods so this is all about sills so a sill is a horizontal member the most commonly used sill material is pondesora pine and uh, the woods which will be used must be not prone to rot and must be weather resistant and more decay resistant. So this is just a normal diagram of a door. See the uppermost part is known as the head. The lowermost part is known as sill both in doors and windows. So this is the lock set. This is the lock rail. These are panels. This is bottom rail. This is top rail. So just remember that sills or sill is the lowermost part of a door and window and head is the uppermost part. of a door and window so this is a wall this is a wall these are bricks and this is a door a normal door so the head is already there the sill is already there so whenever there is an opening in a wall we must provide both the lintel and the seal 
So this is the lintel over here. This lintel is provided just because there is an opening here and this load has to be the load of these bricks has to be distributed to these bricks. So, so not to create any tension here because there is an opening we provide a lintel over here to distribute the loads coming from these bricks to these bricks.